Curves in Lightroom just got even more powerful with control over individual red, green, and blue channels. So I'm over here in the right panel, and I'm going to go ahead and bring up the point curve by clicking on that icon. Now, don't try to do this in previous process versions. This is only going to work if you've selected the process version 2012. Now I have the option here under channel to work on RGB together. That's what we've had in previous versions as well. All that means is that when I click on the point curve and I move that curve, I'm affecting all three channels at the same time. I'm going to right click, flatten curve. Now, if I click here, you can see that I also have control over the individual channels. And this is something we've always had in Photoshop, but to be able to do this in Lightroom now is just so sweet. I'm going to go ahead and do something very practical here. You can do all kinds of crazy things by individually manipulating channels, but this is a practical exercise. I'm going to select the blue channel because I want to try to remove this cast that I really have had trouble removing using white balance controls. But now, being able to come in and just pick the blue channel and pick the middle of the curve there and brighten up the blues a little bit. That's kind of, you can see it's removing that, I don't know how you describe the cast, the reddish orange cast that was there. Darken the blue, you can see that cast really strongly. But by brightening up just the blue channel, I've really improved that image. Now I can also use this targeted adjustment tool, click on that, and watch what happens now. When I come over to the blues in my image, Look on the point curve. I can pick a spot on the point curve and just work that area. Let's find a shadow area. That's going to be down in here, down farther. Okay, that's more in the highlight area. Well, let's try that. So I'll click and drag up, and it's just going to brighten that area. The blues only are being affected, and I'm going to pull down to darken that area. So you can see how you could really get precise control over individual channels. This is just an awesome addition to, to Lightroom. I'm, a lot of people have been asking for this for a long time, and we're just thrilled to have this now in Lightroom 4.